This video will show you how to restore a virtual machine instantly, which involves the following steps. Start by logging into the backup application. Provide the username and password of the backup account. Then click OK to log in. Once we are in the main interface, click Restore. Then select the corresponding VMware backup set and the backup destination that the data are stored at. In this next menu, you can select the virtual machine or individual disk that you would like to restore. You can also view the snapshots available for restore by clicking here. For this demo, we will select the VM named WinXP Pro for restore. In the Restore Destination menu, choose to restore the virtual machine to its original location, or to an alternate location here. Note that the Run Direct and Auto Migrate checkboxes are both enabled by default. With the Run Direct option enabled, the restore process will first mount the backup destination as a NAS data store on the VMware host. The VM will then be run directly from the backup data until it is moved back to its original data store. The Auto Migrate option when enabled, will move the run direct virtual machine to its original data store automatically. But for this demo, we will not enable this option. Next. To auto power on the virtual machine during the restore, enable the auto power on checkbox. And finally, to improve the performance of the restored VM before it is migrated back to its original data store, enable the use existing storage as working directory checkbox. Click next to continue. Modify the temporary directory if necessary, then click restore to start the restore process. If we take a look in a vSphere client connected to the VMware host, we can see that the NAS data store is created, then the virtual machine is registered and powered on almost instantly. Checking on the backup application, the restore is already completed successfully. The virtual machine is now up and running directly from the backup data. The steps shown in this demo is especially useful if you want to temporarily restore a virtual machine to quickly copy a file or two from it. You can stop the run direct virtual machine after you are done with it, or move the VM to a data store on the VMware host. To manage the run direct virtual machine, click on the restore button in the main interface. Then the manage run direct virtual machines button. In this page, you will see a list of backup set with active virtual machine that is running with the run direct feature. Click on the backup set for more details. Here you will find the source and migration info of the run direct virtual machine. To move the run direct virtual machine from the backup destination to a data store on the VMware host, click on the migrate virtual machine button. If you are only running the VM for temporarily purposes, you can stop the VM by clicking the Stop Run Direct button. The virtual machine will be unregistered from the VMware host, and the NAS data store will be dismounted automatically afterward. Finally, note that OSAOBM has to be open while the Run Direct VM is running. If you attempt to close OSAOBM, you will be prompted to stop the run direct VM in order to exit, as shown here. For this demo, we will click yes to exit. When we stop a run direct VM, the virtual machine is unregistered from the VMware host, and the NAS data store is unmounted automatically afterward. And this will conclude this demo. We hope you have enjoyed this video.